Here is how to build a 500 million dollar company from just a Facebook page. Back in 2013, three friends from the Indian Institute of Technology observed that the young Indians from the age group 18 to 35 don't like consuming content through traditional news sources and they are spending more and more time on social media platforms like Facebook. So they decided to solve this problem by opening up a Facebook page that provided news summaries in just 60 words. It garnered 20k followers within a month. Then they launched an app and saw resounding adoption. The app got 1 million downloads in just 6 months. As of 2023, it has surpassed 10 million downloads. But a lot of people have tried building such an app. Here are four reasons why Inshorts made it and others did not. Number one, starting with the minimum viable product. Instead of building an app, the founders of Inshorts started with a minimum viable product, which was their Facebook page. MVP is the most efficient product development technique used in the business world. It requires very less investment and gives you the flexibility to test your ideas and improve your product. The concept of minimum viable product was popularized by Eric Ries in his book The Lean Startup, which has had significant impact on the way entrepreneurs and business approach the product development. Ries defines it as the version of a new product that helps in getting feedback and collecting the maximum amount of information about customers with the least effort. This is exactly what Inshorts founders did via their Facebook page. They tested how people respond to their idea without spending any money. To use this strategy, the book Lean Startup suggests implementing the framework called Build Major Learn Feedback Loop. If you want to build a product with minimum investment, here are three steps to implement this framework. Number 1 build create a minimal version of your product with the essential features necessary to test your idea number 2 measure deploy your minimum viable product to real customers gather data and collect feedback on their behavior and preferences number 3 learn analyze the data and feedback to gain insights into what works and what doesn't this allows you to improve your product and business model it makes it easier to test ideas for instance take my example i have big plans for this podcast the content i have created so far is my minimum viable product instead of going big and trying to invite prominent personalities to this podcast i am creating content based on the world's most influential business books Inviting people would require an expensive studio setup. It would require me to relocate to a big city. In the next 12 months, I'm going to cover 50 business books. I'm going to try a few things, see what works, and I'm going to double down on what works. Anyway, back to our case study. Reason number 2: Placing customers above revenue. Inshorts wanted to build for users more than advertisers, which is the reason why Inshorts was not running any ads on its platform for the first 3 years. The platform mainly focused on providing personalized news in 60 words in the form of facts rather than adding any of their views. Today, 70% of their app downloads come organically, and almost 35% of the news consumed in India is done on Inshorts. all because they have a user friendly interface and have a unique and creative way of placing ads more on that later they provide the option to personalize the feed have a relevancy score to every single new shot being shown to the user and allow snoozing the push notifications for a specific time this shows how much the platform wants to keep the user experience at its core they did not run any ads for the first few years but that does not mean they were not thinking about making money they used that period to understand consumer behavior That is the reason number 3 understanding consumer behavior. In 2017 they acquired Retention AI, a data analytics startup that help app developers analyze user behavior. While Inshorts does not collect much data from the user, it has always focused on retention and user understanding. The ads they run are not just based on your personalized feed choice, news consumption pattern and interest areas, but also on new shots, rate per session, engagement with previous ads, bookmarking habits and your feedback on the relevancy score for each card. Number 4, creative ad formats and placements. If you are in a content creation business and want to attract advertisers, you need to know these three things about them. Number 1, advertisers hate losing money with every impression. One of the significant concerns advertisers have is bot clicks. Can you 100% trust the clicks you are getting on your ads? If the answer is no, you lose money with every click. Number 2, they want to be able to access detailed audience analytics, where they come from, their interest and what they like and dislike. Every small detail matters. Number 3, advertisers love diverse ad formats. Why just provide them with the same old plain banner ads, display ads or video ads? You need to invent more ad formats and give them more placement options. 
advertisers appreciate flexibility in how they can reach an audience. Think native, think about what kind of ad formats and placements will bring maximum engagement and personalize the solution for every industry. Different ad formats for the automobile industry, different for electronics, different for crypto industry and so on. InShorts did exactly that and came up with more than 6 ad formats and numerous others are still in the experiment phase. Here are two of their most innovative ad formats. Number 1. Fact Cards These are vertical ads displayed as an image banner containing exciting facts related to the brand or a product. Number 2. Magazine Cards This is a longer format of fact cards. They contain a set of 6-7 to seven portrait images that will have fascinating info regarding the brand or a product, which will be displayed as a carousel. Number 3. This is the one I like most. They call it Innovation Ads. They are highly interactive and customizable ad options such as 360 degree ads, gesture control interactive stories and videos. These ads provide a user controlled immersive experience where you can literally interact with them. For instance, I tried their app for a few weeks and saw a car ad from this format. On the screen there was a photo of that car and there were few options to click. I tapped on interior and just like that I was transported inside the car. I could see the interior in 360 degrees. That's how advertising should be done. Gone are the days of the same old boring ad formats. If you are listening to this on YouTube, you can watch the video of the advertising format I am talking about. I have also included a link that will take you to the website where all these ad formats are listed and how much they cost. InShorts has more than 300 advertisers and adds around 10 new advertisers every month. Its clientele list includes global brands like OnePlus, Mercedes, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Mintra among others. Netflix used InShorts for promoting shows like 13 Reasons Why, Ghoul and Narcos. The ad format number 2 that we discussed helped Netflix get 3 times more engagement as compared to normal text ads for its series Umbrella Academy within just 2 months. Now is the time for the big picture. At the end of every episode, we give a quick glance at just how big the industry that we are talking about is. InShort got successful by targeting the smartphone generation who are short on time and want to stay updated with current affairs. Hence the majority of readers are from metros and tier 1 cities. It gets 38% of traction from the age group of 18 to 24 and 40% of its users are in the age group of 24 to 35 years. On Play Store, it shows that the app has 10 million plus downloads. But do you know how many smartphone users there are in India? 650 million. So they have a huge market to penetrate. But any business that operates in India knows just how difficult it is to deal with Indian masses from tier 2 and tier 3 cities. It is difficult especially for content creators because there are so many regional languages spoken in India. In the year 1994, world's first online banner ad by AT&T appeared in Hotwired magazine with a runtime for 3 months for a price of $30,000. This was the advent of digital advertising. But now the market is touted to touch $19.2 billion by 2026. In this cutthroat industry, Indian startup InShorts is casting its den, probably at the brink of disrupting it forever for Indian advertisers. One of its three founders is set to join season 3 of the Shark Tank India. If you are on a journey to become successful in life, the Wisdom Podcast is for you. Here we discuss books on personal growth and entrepreneurship and create insightful business case studies. So subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next episode.